everybody that she meets has an original point of view. <laughs> Carl was invited to this photo shoot, but his busy schedule gives him only a limited time to inspire us through teachable moments. That's a male lion. You could tell because he has a mane. Don't listen to him, George. Your lion is whatever she wants to be. You know, given how the show plays fast and loose with anthropomorphizing, there really could be sapient lions on top. I hate Brown. That's racist. One of the reasons I like Carl is that he's really honest. Writer decides to beat us over the head with Carl's good qualities to make up for the autism because autism is such a bad thing. Wow, the time to train in this episode is a whole 30 seconds! Over a minute if you count the opening music! He drew it completely from memory! Look! Cool party tricks! We can't think of any other reason you should like autistic people! It has pistons and a driving wheel and connecting I get that they're going for an info dumping, not realizing the other person isn't interested thing, but George is literally waving and yelling his name. We're not that oblivious. Arthur is a 90s show, so I won't fault it for the unfortunate Autism Speaks Association, except this episode came out in 2000. 10, so I will. Kids show encourages gambling. George, would you see if you can find some more glue in one of the other classrooms? Nepotism. Nice meeting you. Bye. So no commentary on the segregated classroom where the disabled kids are clearly not being taught anything? Nice to meet you, George. I'm Carl's mom. Much like real autism moms, she has no identity independent of him. Blue is my favorite color. Mine too. Oh, really? Because on your trading card, it says your favorite color is fuzzy wuzzy brown. God, you're such a liar, George. Heretic! How dare you not like giraffes! It's not your fault, George. Carl has Asperger's syndrome. That sentence does not logically follow itself. Milk powder. Now that's sinful in real life. Two little pieces of what I'm guessing is banana, three strawberries, and then in goes the milk? Why bother making a smoothie at that point? You might as well just drink milk. This obligatory autism explanation is actually pretty good, but still obligatory. Oh look, in real life there is more than one autistic person, and some of them are girls! Why wasn't that in the show? This is Love Lane's special needs horseback riding program. Educational PSA about accepting differences turns out to be really just an advertisement. Also... <sighs> special needs. Even though I have autism, I still go to my neighborhood school. Not sure why that's in even though. You've had the legal right to carry autism in your school bag since the 70s. That there is ABA, so child abuse. Special thanks to YouTube user Nava Candy for recommending this episode.